Hey everybody, welcome back to Bomber Crew. We are back at Raf Woodbridge, whatever the heck that means. And we're ready to take on some more bombing missions. So, last time, our new crew survived. They're all fine. Here they are. Look at them. Everybody's doing all right, which is great. Uh, I spent some of the money that we earned and uh, got them some new equipment. So I, I saw that some people were getting cold when we went up to mid-altitude, so I, I got a couple people some sweaters. Um, and then since Adam and Hannah kept getting shot all to hell in the back, I gave them a bunch more uh, flak equipment, you know, heavier helmets, things like that, um, and so on. So everyone, everyone should do a little bit better. As for the plane, um, I did get the upgraded fuel, but I thought it would let me hold more fuel, but I'm kind of thinking now that it is only going to... It says upgraded fuel tanks are better armored, so less likely to leak. I don't know if we've had fuel leakage. I mean, definitely I don't want that to happen. Um, I was kind of hoping that it'd be like, oh, fuel tank mark two, it holds more fuel, but maybe it's just less likely that I'm going to lose fuel. So we'll have to make do. Um, other than that, I did go to fuselage here and I put some additional armor on the the rear half of the plane because that seems to be where we get the most holes. Um, and then after that, I kind of ran out of money. So that's where we stand. We just finished critical mission two, so I guess we're in phase three of this campaign. Let's see what we got. Oh, and from doing that critical mission last time, we do have enemy armor down for the next two missions. So we've got two reds. High risk, enemy ace. They're short, though. We've got aces here, and what is this green one? We're planning a big raid on a hydroelectric dam. This is your chance to get to grips with this new type of bomb before the big day. Oh, bouncing bomb test run. So this is like a... A training mission for something new. Um, well, I definitely want to do that, but since we have enemy armor down, I'm wondering if maybe we should try and take out like an ace. And if we do this one and get a success, flak operation will be down for two missions as well, which is not bad. Oh, because it's the flak shell factory raid, right? that makes sense. Let's do this one first because maybe we can save save that flak bonus for like the next critical mission or something just to kind of lessen the uh, the danger so let's try truck factory near Paris there's a high risk it's an there's an ace but it's short so hopefully we will uh, get through it okay let's give it a try Gunnar Gunther. Oh, it's revenge time. I am ready. If our hydraulics goes down, I'm gonna fix it this time. <laughs> we must kill him to avenge that last crew. Enemy fighters! There are several hazards, aren't there? Let's fly around them. Instead of directly through them like we usually do. Why is there a fire? Extinguish! Maybe we should have put some armor on the engines, I don't know. Alright, fire's out, but that's the end of our extinguishers, so... There we go. Boom! When they approach us in a straight line like that, they got no chance. Oh, here we go with the flak. I thought I told you guys to avoid it. Let's go around. Not through. 
Oh god, no. What is that hazard? I don't know, but we're gonna... We're already flying this direction, so let's do this. Picture time, baby! Enemy fighters, oh. I don't even know what we're taking a picture of. These bunkers, I guess. Great photo. Okay. Run, get in that ventral cannon. We gotta take these guys down. Oh, come on, I had him. Where'd he go? More fighters. Where's Gunnar? There we go. Ugh, we gotta go right through the flak for this one? That's just great. Open the doors. Fire! We got it! Our, oh, Gunnar Gunther's here. Of course he is. Prepare for execution! Let's see about that. There he is. Oh boy. What is broken? Is it just I can't? Oh, we're gonna shoot you. Move faster! Give him the focus. Yes! Come on! We've almost got him! Don't you fly away from me. Haha! <laughs> Revenge! Oh boy, okay. Adam, you're always getting shot. Go lay down. We got more problems. Well, I feel good about myself. Where the heck are we? We can't even tell. Okay, I think we're I think we're flying generally the right direction need to get away from all this flack. Oh, 
Get me a bearing, Mr. Cooper. Another successful mission for this flying banana. Give me those results. Yes. Gunnar Gunther, super dead. Yes. That'll show him. Excellent. Great result. <laughs> that was a weird sound. Could do some bigger armored engines. Can we make the back even more armored? Yes. Well, let's do the engines. No, you know what? Let's do some survival. Because I'm going to crash one of these days and maybe we can keep somebody alive. So let's put some of this stuff on. Uh, we need engines anyway. Okay, fine. Let's do standard twos for the inside ones. Okay, survival. Dinghy. Pigeon. Yes. Okay, tail. Big armor. Because they shoot right through, especially those larger planes that just fly directly behind me, right? Um. Extinguishers. Ooh, two extinguishers. I've only ever had to use the extinguishers once, but one of these times I'm going to need two, right? So it's like the smart thing to do. Or should I get ammo feed on my guns? Yeah. It's the less responsible choice, but... Oh man, to put it on nose turret would be great. No, tail turret, Mark II with ammo feed. Because it's just a Mark I right now. Right, so then the tail will do more damage and it won't have to ever reload. Or Mark III. Oh, no, next time, next time. We'll do Mark II with ammo feed. No! Oh, I need bigger engines for that. Okay, what if we did Mark III? We can fit that. Okay, so no ammo feed, but the tail gun is, like, as strong as it can get. Almost. There's a Mark I of this, but I think it's, like, larger bullets. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, that's all our money. We're doing good on intel. Okay. Enemy armor down for the next mission. Oh, we lost that other ace one. We can do... Reduce the flak. Enemy armor down for two more missions. Okay, well, let's do the... Um, Bouncing bomb test run? No, 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 no. No, no, well, yeah, no. Yeah, let, okay. <laughs> Bouncing bomb test run. I'm trying to juggle all the uh, bonuses we're getting, but I let's get this out of the way. Tag the target to begin the bomb run. You should start the run at a low altitude. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Let's see what exactly is going on here. All right, stop turning plane. Aries down in the bomb, bombing cockpit. I don't know, whatever it's called. The bomb house. Bomb selection, bouncing bomb, and then we release. So there's not even any doors. Like, it it took up the whole bottom of the plane. Looks like a roll of cheap paper towels that you find in, like, mall bathrooms. 
Look for the targeting lights in the bomb aimer's sight. Release the bomb when the lights converge. Okay. We are armed. Is this a real thing? Are there bouncing bombs? I'm gonna have to look it up later. Alright. When will they converge? Wait! <laughs> I'm confused! Do we just do it whenever they're together? Alright, let's try again. I thought something different was going to happen when we got closer. But I guess not. Well, okay, you didn't even really try there. I guess we got to be farther away. Alright, if the lights show up, we're going to try it again. There we go. Alright. It skips along the surface. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Yeah, if you say so. That's a weird thing that I guess we're gonna use. We just lost contact with the Spitfire Patrol in the channel. See if you can locate them, but keep your eyes peeled for the enemy. How did we use up so much fuel? We didn't even fly very far. We got fighters. Alright, so you need to release a bouncing bomb when the two little circles come together and then it skips across the surface of the water and rolls into your target. It's very weird. I, I guess if you release it when the lights are not together, maybe it just like sinks and ruins your whole mission. I really don't know. Oh, they're going down left and right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we just have to spot them. That's easy. Bing! I'm gonna take a picture. All the normal stuff. Bing! Everybody focus. You have no chance to survive. Another successful mission! I guess that yellow plane was good luck, I don't know. Alright. Now the weird sound of experience. Okay. Ooh, we got some new stuff. Lean plus. Lean fuel mix cooldown time is reduced. Excellent. Excellent. We can do more lean. The gunner's got defensive. Scatter ammo liberally, causing enemy fighters to keep their distance. Oh, okay. So if we just want them to kind of stay away, 
can use a bunch of bullets to do that. And then on radio, we got auto tag. While active, automatically tags all fighters within radar range. Oh, that's so great. That is great. I'm excited to see that in action. Awesome. Okay, well, we unlocked some more stuff. We got some fun new skills for next time. Uh, I think we'll call it now with our two successes. And then, uh, well, let's take a quick look over here at briefing and see. We haven't unlocked the next crit yet. Gotta do a couple more. Sub hunt, an easy one. And then we've got a couple of good options. So, I don't know. We'll take a look at it next time. But thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next Bomber Crew.